It's amazing what can be accomplished when no one cares who gets the credit. Hi, I'm Claire Drake. I can remember when I was first coaching here and uh, I was working with football and hockey and uh, we practiced football at, uh, at uh, about five o'clock in the afternoon and then you come off the football field and we started the hockey practice about seven. And, uh, but that didn't, we didn't start hockey as early then. That didn't go on that long because we didn't start hockey till about first of October. Now it starts much earlier. But uh, yeah, you're, you get home for a lot of, I, I often kid, I said I've hit about, uh, I don't know, 7,826 dinners at eight o'clock at night. You spend a lot of time here and uh, it's nice because, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's just nice. I don't know how to explain it. It's, uh, it's uh, very, very humbling in a lot of ways. and. Uh, but a, a great feeling to know that players are going to be playing in an arena that's uh, named after you and uh, I hope the tradition will last for a long time. I see a, a, wonderful, uh, a wonderful set of experiences for me. It's been, uh, it's been really, I, couldn't, I don't think I could ask for anything, uh, anything better in terms of all the things we've done. We've been really fortunate and uh, not just because of the success but of but of all the great people that you meet along the way, all the great players that have played here that I consider friends and, uh, and uh, the great associates, the assistants. Uh, Bill Moores has spent uh, at least uh, 10 wonderful years with me as an assistant. I have nothing but the highest regard for Claire as a, as a coach, obviously, but more importantly as a friend. and Just a tremendous uh, experience for me all those years. I, I got so many of my values and so, many of my so much of my philosophy about how to play the game and how to deal with people from players. I quit one day, you know. Uh, I quit school one day at university. And he phoned me and he said, uh, um, you get, I don't know if I can say this here, but I'll say it, you get the hell back here. And I did, I came back. And I'm not sure, he didn't have to phone to, to call me there to come back. My philosophy was always to try and uh, keep myself as up to date as possible, like look at new ideas, ask your assistant coaches to challenge you on things that you're thinking you're trying to put across. And uh, I was very fortunate over the years in having tremendous assistants. And when you get a, a good environment, like the University of Alberta itself is a wonderful environment, like it attracts great athletes and good student athletes. And, uh, and, and of course, as, to be successful in coaching, you've got to have good athletes around. I haven't stood on this bench once in the last 10 years. They've got, they've got a great set of coaches out of here right now. So, uh, but uh, I watched them from up in that corner. I enjoy the games here. I mean, uh, as I say, I think uh, some of the most exciting hockey in Edmonton is played right here in this rink. It's amazing what can be accomplished when no one cares who gets the credit. It's a great model to live your life by, really. If you want to accomplish things and you want to contribute to things, and, uh, but you don't hold back because you're worried that somebody else is going to get the credit, you're, you're willing to pitch in and do as much as you can anyway. That's a great quote. One of the best I've ever seen. <laughs>